In this video, I wanted to briefly and quickly talk about how you can use Microsoft Word to create flyers, uh, design it, and also then uh, save it as a PDF, so then you can email it to somebody, or you can even take it to a print shop and have it printed. So uh, first, before you start doing things all the way from scratch, they have lots of templates online that you can download from Microsoft's website. Uh, and then you can just modify it. So I'll show it to you how to get to those templates. So when you go to File, and then you click on New, and you click on New. So this is uh, Word 2013, and this is the way it looks in Word 2013. But in 2010, and also 2007, on the left-hand side, you, you'll see a section called Templates, and then you can go to the template for Flyers. And here in 2013, I can just type the word Flyer, and they'll have a whole bunch of flyers that are available online and you can just download any one of these that you like and then you can replace the information and the pictures with whatever information and uh, pictures you like so say for example I'll take something I'll take this one so I'll just double click on it and I'll, it's downloading it from the internet and now the flyer shows up and then you can just go in and start changing the words, information, as you like it. You can click on the images and you can change the images too. So to change the image, you can click on the image and in the top you go to picture tools and from here you can change the picture and you can add any other pictures you have and you can do a whole bunch of editing to the pictures to make it look nice. And I'll show you in a different way will create a flyer from scratch so you'll understand how to add a lot of the other elements and then you'll be able to do anything that you want to do. So what I'll do is I'll go to File, New and I'll just start a blank document. So I'll just double click on blank. Now uh, there are a lot of different ways to do things. The first thing you can do is you can start inserting. So if I go to the insert tab and I can add like shapes. So I can look for any shapes that I would like to add to the edges of my pages to make uh, things look nice. So like say for the example this shape, I click it and then I left click and hold it and I drag it here. So this can become like some kind of a banner. And then I can right click on it and I can add text. and then you can highlight it and then you can change the text to whatever kind you want so the fonts you can increase and the colors and whatever changes you wanted to make so that's one thing you can do is that you can insert shapes you can also within there you can also add word art so like I can add word art to it to go with that if I wanted to so that's another thing the other thing you can also look into is that you can start to insert and they have these things called text box and they have a lot of these different interesting designs which are already set up to go into certain corners of the pages or somewhere in the middle so say I wanted something on the side I can just click it and there it is added and then if I want I can just reduce the size and there it is so you can then add anything you want there you can add images pictures words and any format changes that you wanted you can also insert shapes and you can add shapes like some kind of a round rectangle shapes so I can click it and then I can drag it and then I can change the colors they have the drawing tools on the top the format drawing tools so here I can then start applying any colors I want so that it looks better and then you can right click and edit add the text and I can copy it and then I can paste it again so that I have an extra one and then I can have two of them and I can change the color to something else Okay, so I'll just reduce the zoom so you see some kind of a flyer has started to happen and then I can even add even more things as I needed it. So if I go back to insert text box 
and they have some where you can have like this kind so I just click it and I'll move this to the middle up here I'll increase the zoom so I've just added like a nice little design element here and even that can be changed to something else if you wanted to by using change picture and then you can add any wordings you want to it you can change the font styles to whatever you want it to be rather than use the one they have used and then whatever changes you want and you can drag it around and also remember in the format you can always use the wrap text which gives you control over the locations of any of your elements not just this pictures or whatever you can use to have it different locations wherever you want it so you can have it situated in the middle of the page and it sits in nicely and some other new features that you can add in here is that this design tab uh, in there this is in 2013 you can use the themes option and you see as I point to it the colors start to change so let me just reduce the zoom so that you can see what's happening on the document as I point to any of the themes it's changing the colors and it's coordinating it because uh, making it look nice based on what we are already doing so this is an interesting way to set up things here I think in 2010 they also have this feature in 2007 I'm not sure you can look into it they also have this color combinations as you point to it they start to show up in those color combinations in different ones so this is a very good feature you can also add a um, page color like a background color you can also go to fill effects so that you can mix colors up you can do two colors mix them up or you can use presets and you can see the colors on the bottom and then you can click OK and it just adds that so those page color options are also available I can say no color you can add page borders as you needed it, they have border called art. As needed, can be applied, uh, and a watermark which is not needed in here. And in terms of adding elements, you can also add like charts in here, which you know from a uh, word that you can add it. So I'm just going to click here and delete these. So you can just click on them and delete the objects. And if I go to insert, so you see they have options where you can add tables pictures shapes smart arts and also charts and smart arts are very interesting because if I click on smart arts you see they have these different designs that you can choose so like cycles I can choose I can take any of these and then I can have it in the middle somewhere just resize it a little and I'll move it down whenever you add an element you need to use the tools and uh, sometimes you may not see it for this uh, it's the wrap text is here in the previous version I found that this guy was missing so but if you right click on it you should get the option to wrap text and in the previous version you can use the options through also which is a good one because the through will give you the most control to move the object around and I'll just increase the zoom and then you can type whatever wordings you want in here as you need it and then you can also go to the smart tools design and then change the colors so a lot of these things can help to make your flyer look nicer with different um, shapes any shapes you like you can just click on it and then drag it and then you can change the colors and right click on it and add text to it and when you are done you save your word file and the last thing you need to do is you go to file and then you click on and then you click on save as uh, in the 2010 and 2007 when you point to save as right here you see a list from which you can choose a PDF in 2010 I can go to share and then I can share it by one of these ways or I can export it and I can export it to create a PDF 
and then I just give it a name I'll save it to the desktop right now I'll just call it flyer and I'll save it as a PDF you can choose to optimize it for standard publishing and printing or you can minimize the size by for emails and if I hit publish it's gonna convert it to a PDF and now it will open the file in PDF um, Acrobat Reader. So here's the reader and I'm just gonna reduce the zoom to 50 percent and there it is. Now you can take this with you and have it printed if you wanted to from the store. Okay. Uh, one of the other features that uh, Microsoft Word uh, has in 2013 is that you can edit PDFs now. You don't have to edit in Acrobat and pay money for it. You can actually open the PDF file in Microsoft Word and you'll be able to edit it. So I'm just going to show that to you. I'm just going to close all the Word files. So here I have a sample PDF file that I've just downloaded from the internet and it opens in PDF. So if I wanted to make changes to it, you cannot do this in Adobe Reader. You have to buy Adobe's professional version software to can make changes to it and there are some other free options out there too. Uh, so I'm just going to close this and I'm going to open this file from my desktop. So I'm in my desktop. I'll open the sample file and it will give you this question. Now this PDF, if it had some security and passwords on it, then it may not work. But if it doesn't have any security settings on it, I can just click OK to this and it's going to try to convert it into Word and uh, it shows up as read only. I'll go to view on the top and I'll say I want to edit the document and now I should be able to see the document and I can start making changes to it as I want it. So in this case I think this is some kind of a picture that has been added so I can reduce the size and now I can start adding text to it because these words are part of the picture but now I can make changes to this PDF file in Word and then I can save it back as PDF. So I hope this help gives you enough um, material to start working with Word to create flyers and also in 2013 you can edit some PDF documents. Thank you for watching.